Alright, you probably feel like a loser for clicking on this video, but don't feel that way because in this modern day lifestyle, like we're, we're basically expected as an adult to just be able to make friends like that or just to have friends already. Maybe they lay over for college, school, whatever it is, or job. Um, but the truth is people move, people change places, they change positions, um, and sometimes the friends that you're around just suck, man. They're not motivated um, and they're kind of holding you back. So what is the process that you have to go through to make new new, awesome, close friends. Well, um, for me in my life, this didn't come easy for me. Like I remember long periods of time where I really struggled with this. I've been a loner most of my life, an introvert, some guy who's had a lot of trouble in this area. I remember when I was in college, I used to eat pretty much every single time in the dining commons by myself and it wasn't until I figured out what I was doing wrong that I started correcting this sort of thing. Even after college, I had a lot of trouble. Um, I, I struggled, I had to start from ground zero every single time. But now in my life, um, I have friends all around the city that I live in, I have close, awesome, motivated guys that are picking me up that got my back. Anytime I need to go out with someone, I got someone to go out with. Anytime I need help with something, I got somebody there for me. Um, and anytime, like uh, countless hookups, countless things that have gone my way because of the friends network that I've created. Um, and I want that to happen to you guys as well because it can be kind of tricky, especially with the way things are these days is we have so many options, so many choices. So how do you do it? Well, uh, the first thing that I would tell you is that you need, I say this on my channel so much, uh, you need to get out. I mean, when it comes to getting girls, when it comes to uh, all that stuff, you need to get out. Also for friends too. I mean, friends aren't just going to happen while you're sitting home watching TV. It's just, it's just not going to happen that way. The other thing too is make an effort with people. Like I guarantee you have probably relationships right now that you're kind of leaving squandered. You, you, you should hit those people up. Let them know you care about them. Let them, you don't have to hang out with them every single day. You don't have to be like super buddy, buddy close, but just letting them know that you're there, that you're checking in on them is usually a pretty good idea. A lot of times when I find um, that when people meet other people, the problem that they have, and I, and I had this problem too, was I had to fight my own selfishness. I had to fight my own judgmental nature. Um, I, I judge myself pretty harshly and I judge other people pretty harshly too. So whenever I had the opportunity to hang out with someone, I'd be like, nah, that person seems like person seems like kind of a loser. Like I don't really want to hang out with them or like they don't really seem, they don't really seem like they might have a personality or something like that. Like I just don't think it's going to work uh, long term. Like I don't, you know, I'd rather just be by myself. Well, yeah, I had to start fighting those feelings because it, it, they obviously weren't working. I mean, I was looking at myself in this day and age and <laughs> I was thinking, shit, man, I have no friends. So I got to have to really change that. So I had to kind of fight my own selfish and judgmental tendencies. And the other thing that I had to start doing was I had to start giving more than I was receiving. I Typically, I was so paranoid because of the way I was treated when I was a kid that I was always afraid that people were going to play me. I was always afraid that people were going to use me for stuff. They were like I would be kind to them and they wouldn't be kind back to me. So I had a lot of paranoia in this area and I had to get over it. So I had to start when you first start making friends, like Gary Vaynerchuk says that you have to, you know, in life you should always give 51% and expect 49% in return. I think when you're starting out making friends, dude, it it feels like it's 90% you giving and 10% you get back if you're lucky. Most of the time you don't get anything back. You just get like, you know, people are going to use you, people are going to do this, that, or the other thing to you. Um, and when you're first starting out, that can happen. But it's worth it to get past these points, to find people that aren't going to do that sort of stuff to you. I think it's totally worth it. And in the end, it's going to start evening out and it's going to be like 50-50. And then when you get to a certain point where you have so many friends, it could even be, you could even feel like you're receiving more than you're getting. Um, and the truth is, is that the more you start to do this, the more you realize that actually giving towards people, actually being positive, providing value, that actually makes you happy. That actually raises your value in itself. One of the ways that you can provide value is start inviting people to things. Say, hey, I'm going to go for a hike this weekend, or I'm going out. Well, you want to come out with me? Or I'm going to this party you should come with. Like, at first, you know, even if you just have an acquaintance or you have someone that you just met, like, it, they might not come, they might not show up, but it's going to increase the likelihood that they will invite you to something in the future too. And if they come with you, awesome, dude. Like, that might be a good friend for you to keep around. So start inviting people to things, start, you know, saying yes to invitations. I know it's so easy when somebody invites you to something, you're like, oh God, I would much rather just sit at home and do nothing than go to that. Like you're thinking about all the stuff that you have to do. I'm going to meet a bunch of people that I don't know. You, you have to put that behind yourself um, and just start saying yes and be open to things. Okay, so how do we meet some of these people? You know, we have the mindsets down. We have these sort of behaviors that you're supposed to be doing. What should you actually start 
doing? Well, I always recommend on this channel, I love group activities during the week. I mean, when I was going out regularly, like I was going out five or six nights a week um, with a full-time job and I still was doing group activities. One of the things that worked really, really well for me was intramural soccer and just soccer in general because I'm, I'm good at soccer. It was something that I've done my whole life. So I joined, I joined a bunch of soccer teams. I was on like three soccer teams. I was on like three soccer teams. I was doing Toastmasters. I was doing... Um, you know, my full-time job, I was going out five, six nights a week, and I was working out and hitting the gym regularly. So, like, I was a pretty active dude when I was doing this. I was always doing something. And that's, like, if you fill your days up with these types of things, then I think that you can start meeting people really quickly. And by the end of it, I turned around and I realized that my weekends were completely packed. Like there was always an event that one group or the other group was throwing, or maybe I was supposed to be hanging out with somebody. Like it went very quickly from me not knowing anyone, me having no sort of like friends whatsoever to me having too many. <laughs> and it happened because I started doing a lot of these group activities. You're going to meet a lot of people in these areas. Intramural soccer is good. Improv classes are really great. I used to take, um, I, I'm doing salsa classes right now. That's a great way to meet people as well. Any sort of physical activity where you have a common goal that you're doing and you're learning and you're building and you're growing together is a great way to meet friends. You're going to meet guys that you can go out with. You're going to meet uh, girls that you could possibly hook up with or date. There's a lot of options for you. It's group activity. So find some hobbies, find some things that you can start doing during the week. I'll have a list for you at the bottom of some of the stuff that I like to use. Now it helps for in these areas if you're actually proficient at it. So if you're getting better at this sort of thing, um, that's how I made my really good friends through intramural soccer because I was good at it. So I had some level of respect coming in. Um, and then a lot of the top guys in the, in the, on the team, they wanted to hang out with me just because I was really good at it. So try and pick something that you're good at. But if you're not good at it, don't worry. You'll get good soon. Um, and as soon as you become proficient and confident, that's when you're just going to start to make some real good friends. You can, you can also make friends at work. I know sometimes people like to just do their job. We're so compartmentalized these days where, well, we have our work people, we have our roommates, we have, we're very reluctant to call people our friends now. Um, it's either a coworker, roommate, uh, colleague, um, sister-in-law. Like it's just nobody wants to call anybody a friend anymore. Um, so start seeing your coworkers as not just coworkers, but someone that you could potentially be friends with. Now I don't want you to be creepy about it because nobody likes that guy in the office. And sometimes, honestly, the people that you're working with aren't going to make the best friends. I know if you, for some people that I know that work in restaurants or like high stress environments, it can be kind of tough. Uh, to make friends there if the, if the restaurant is like, you know, really high stress environment. So what I think that you should do um, is try and s sign up for some of those group activities. But also, you know, people might seem very, they might seem uh, a little bit tense or um, not friendly at first. But you just have to keep opening up to them and then eventually like the, at some point in time, like they will crack. They will start being friendly with you. Um, and sometimes those are the best friends that you can have. For me in my life, I like to have roommates. I like to have people that I live with. I like for the, those people to be my friends. I mean, it makes your life a whole lot easier if you're friends with your roommates. I mean, the house that I'm in right now, I'm most of the dudes that are, that are there, I'm really good friends with those dudes. I fucking love those guys that are in the house. And it's so nice when you have someone to come back to, like an area to chill at where you know it's a bunch of dudes or a bunch of you know men women that you're really close to and you really like it's going to raise your happiness a lot and then you can meet their friends you can meet meet up with them and if they're good at bringing girls home like oh my god it makes your life like like literally if i have five guys in a house and they all know how to bring girls home and they're all good with women like I literally have five times the opportunities because they're bringing groups of girls back and they can't, they can't occupy every single one. So, you know, that's a person that I could meet and now you have an easy way to start a conversation. Like, it's so much better to live with people um, when you're friends with them. So, like, when you're picking a house, don't only look for, oh, is this in a good area? Like, is this close to work? Does it have a bathroom? Like, look at the people that you're going to be living with too, um, seeing them as potentially as someone that you can actually hang out with. Okay, the final thing is like, all right, Lloyd, so let's say my roommates suck, my work sucks, uh, I don't really have time for doing a lot of group activities in between going out. What do I do? Well, <laughs> if, you're all out of, if you're all out of ideas this way, I've also made a lot of friends from going out as well, too, okay? Just the same way that you go out to pick up chicks, go out there and make friends at like you would, <laughs> you know, kind of picking up girls, like game guys. I know this sounds kind of like, this sounds stupid. Some people think it's gay. Well, if you've never ex had experience hitting on guys, then 
you know, you probably weren't in a fraternity <laughs> in college. So basically, it's like, you know, if I'm out, dude, and I'm talking to people, I'm going to talk to guys at some point. I'll be like, yo, man, what's going on? Like, how's your night going? Oh, cool. Like, you know, what do you do? Like, what's your thing? You know, talk to them for a little bit. And if they're, if they're doing cool stuff, like they seem like a motivated dude, a lot of times I'll talk to chicks. I'll be like, maybe I'll be talking to a couple girls and, you know, the friend's bored. I'll just, I'll, I'll literally just grab a guy. I'll be like, hey, man, come in. And then I'll, I'll bring the dude in, he'll start talking to the girl, now we have like, <laughs> now we have a common goal, like we're both trying to get laid, and so like that's a really easy way uh, to meet friends uh, that way. Like that dude, I guarantee you, if that dude has any sort of brain in his body, he's going to be friends with you after that. Like, you know, throw somebody an assist is good, but just honestly sitting down, shooting the shit, and talking with guys like while you're at the bar or something like that, meeting their friends seeing what they're up to, talk to them, find out, see if they're like, they seem like you might be a good fit to hang out with each other and then just say, hey, well, you know what, man, I'm going to this party later tonight, you should come with, or like, I'm hanging out at this festival, I think you'd really like it, you should come, or you should join my intramural soccer team, like, we're looking for an extra guy, like, there's so many ways that you can establish a friendship in this way, shape, or form by just going out and talking to people that it's really an opportunity that you shouldn't pass up on. Don't always think that when you're going, oh, I have to talk to girls, I have to do this, or I can't interact with new people, like, that. That, that's really where you can make some really good friends. That's how I met Evil Stifler, honestly. It's like I was just out and we were talking and like I kind of knew about him and like that's kind of how the um, the friendship started. But it never would have happened if I was just kind of had my blinders down and not paying attention. So um, try and do that. And remember when you're meeting people, <laughs> when you're meeting people, be yourself. Don't try and be something you're not. I know it's tempting, especially amongst men. Like we we like to brag about, oh, I've like I've slept with so many girls. Like I had all this crazy stuff happen to me. Like I'm so awesome. <sighs> that you might impress a guy for a week or two with that, um, but ultimately it builds a really poor foundation. And honestly, I find guys like that to be very irritating. If a guy can't stop talking about himself for the first half hour I meet him, fuck that guy. I don't want to be friends with him. Like that's gonna be really tiring really quick. So make sure you're being yourself. And honestly, even if you feel like you're not that awesome, you're not that cool, a lot of guys will appreciate your honesty. They'll appreciate your vulnerability. That's really like, honestly, a lot of guys, even if you feel like, oh, this guy's so far ahead of me, like he's so good with women or he has this job or whatever, a lot of times they like a guy who's a little bit under them. Maybe you can have that little like, you know, younger brother, big brother type relationship. That's kind of how it is with, uh, with me and Evil Stifler. So like, I would recommend that you guys, uh, don't, don't shy away from being yourself. Finally, when you're out, a lot of times if you're hanging out with people that are partying in the nightlife, like this can be a tricky situation because a lot of times these are going to be more acquaintances and they're not going to actually be true friends. It's tough to find true friends in the nightlife. People come and go easily. They just want to see you when they're fucked up. Like there's a lot of things that will happen that will make having a close, honest, good friend that's got your back, a pretty tough thing to do. So in these types of situations, invite them to do new things. Like if they're on your intramural soccer team as well, that's probably going to be more likely to be a good friend. Or if they come in and do, uh, they go like on a hiking trip with you or a camping, like whatever it is, or maybe they go to a festival with you, like that's probably going to be a better friend um, with that too. So you need to figure out kind of where the relationship's coming from. Is this person going to be willing to hang out with me even if we're not drinking or partying? Like ask yourselves those types of questions and then try and get them to do new activities with you. I think traveling with people is one of the best ways to establish a lifelong friend. I met some lifelong friends while I was traveling too. We experienced a lot of new amazing things together and I think that can really help a person when it comes to making friends. Finally, the last thing too is you could also use the internet to make friends. Like if you're looking for some guys, some wingmen to go out with you, um, if you're trying to get better with women, I recommend the RSD uh, inner circle group. So I'm starting my own Facebook group too. It's not that big right now, but hopefully maybe if you guys are seeing this video and it's been a few years or something like that, hopefully it's grown uh, to a point where you guys can start meeting people through there. But uh, the RSD Inner Circle Group, whatever city you're in in the United States, or I think they have some cities internationally, uh, join the group and just say, hey, I'm going out looking for some people to come out with me. Um, and then you'll you'll meet a couple guys there. There's definitely a lot of weird characters in like, the pickup community and stuff. So uh, you might have to go through a few before you find someone that's actually going to be a good, normal, reasonable human being to hang out with. All right, so to review all the major points that I did, I know I talked a lot in this video, but we're going to review the major points. Number one, get out of the house go out. Number two, be open to meeting more people, okay? Make an effort. Don't be so judgmental. Three, create events, start inviting people to things. They will start inviting you to them as well. Four, group activities. Start signing up for as many group activities as you can, okay? 
get good at them. Five, reach out to the existing friends that you have now. I guarantee you have some that you haven't reached out to in a while. Six, work. Start treating your coworkers not just as coworkers, but as potentially that something else could happen. I mean, you spend this much time with them, you might as well. Seven, try and get roommates that you can actually get along with and be friends with. You're going to be a lot happier for that. Eight, if all this fails, when you go out, game guys or game people as you would if you're hitting on girls, okay? Um, I used to do this all, all the time when I was out. Nine, start having new experiences with these people. I think festivals, traveling, all that stuff can really help in this area too. Ten is maybe join some Facebook groups. There's things like meetups as well that I didn't mention. But if you have nothing else, the RSD Inner Circle is a great place to start if you're a guy that's single that's looking to go out with other guys who are looking to hit on girls too. Um, that's all I have to say about this, you guys. I mean, if you're one of those people who thinks, oh, I just need to get chicks and I don't need friends or whatever, like you're really missing out on a lot. Because having close friends, having good friends that got your back, if you have those, you can handle anything that happens in your life, honestly. Um, and... Me, in my opinion, I don't want a life where I don't have close friends that love me. It's not worth living. So, that's all I have to say about this, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my mentorship program, email me, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. If you have any ways that you like to make friends or any ways that you think works really well, put them in the comment section below. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below or email me. Join my Facebook group. I'm putting a link in that to the bottom. <laughs> I'll put a link to that in the bottom. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there, you guys.